I'm Nicole. I'm Geraldine. I'm Lauren. And this is Doing, Doing the, the Damn, damn thing. thing, an entrepreneurship talk show. Hi everybody, this is Lauren and Geraldine from Doing the Damn Thing and uh, we just wanted to introduce for you a special interview that we did. Um, as some of you may know, we're business partners um, and our company is called Meet Geraldine and we have made a commitment in Meet Geraldine for us to each be able to take three months a year off. So this last year I went to Brazil as my uh, three months off and um, Geraldine came down to visit me uh, for a week of that time and in that time we were still thinking of you all and doing the damn thing and uh, we just want to introduce this really special video that we have today. We were in Rio and we got to visit this place that had authentic acai from the Amazon so we wanted to check it out we heard it was really good and different from what you experience in the States or anywhere else. And the owner actually spoke English and had a lot to say about entrepreneurship and we wanted to give our audience the opportunity to get an international perspective of what it's like to run a business outside of the United States and also just showcase the great um, food that he had at the establishment. So. Check this out and remember to like, subscribe, and share and comment on this video. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. My name is João. I'm one of the responsibles here for the ASA, that means uh, Amazon Sustainable Action. And welcome home. <laughs> what I wish someone had told me uh, before I became an entrepreneur would be. Focus. When you are into a business, you will be struggling with problems, lots of problems. So get that focus when you when you are able to to see you are you have more strength, more capital. So then you start to do the other one. But focus is, in my, in my opinion, I didn't know this, but now I kind of know. It's the best way, I think, to get there. Well, the acai is our main, main uh, cold dish uh, in form of smoothies. Our acai, we take care uh, since the, the, the forest with, with, the, with the ribeirinhos, the people that live by the rivers, where the acai is more tasty and more uh, colorful, more uh, antioxidant. So let's talk a little bit about the difference of the, the acai people know, uh, mostly know uh, outside Amazon uh, in Brazil and it's becoming known as well, uh, unfortunately, worldwide uh, because to make it cheaper, the, the industry and the market, they mixture the acai with syrups. Uh, the, uh, the, the high concentration acai and good quality fruits, it's, you find uh, in the texture, in the color, in the smell, and in the, the flavor as well, a difference. Uh, as soon as it doesn't have so much water into it, it's not diluted, diluted. diluted. Uh, you can feel more the fruit, and the fruit is a is a fat, fatty fruit. So these fats they get together with the water and create a very smooth texture. So with no icy, you know, you don't feel icy anymore. We work with uh, 170 families mostly uh, in the state of Pará uh, and they supply us with uh, ingredients uh, from the forest, from the Amazon Here forest. This is our store, uh, Asa, Açaí. We are in the port area, the historic port area of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. I invite you all to be here with us. Uh, we serve lunch, uh, mostly organic ingredients from Amazon and, of course, 
juices and the a powerful acai for you to get prettier and more handsome. I, I own as well other big restaurants in Rio de Janeiro. It's called Aprazível. It's in the neighborhood of uh, Santa Teresa. Very good, beautiful place. And there I'm uh, responsible for new products and suppliers. So I thought that uh, with the quantities we serve there, it's, it's a big restaurant, I could uh, make a chain uh, with the Amazon and use the gastronomy as a tool for protecting the, the, the forest and bringing up some new flavors, new business and new choices. I started with a Brazil and then I, I, when I saw I, I had set a, a, a business there, like with supplies, with friendships and networking. So I decided to open this one, the Asa, Amazon Sustainable Action. And it's been a, in the beginning, it was kind of struggle, you know, because the price, the crisis in, in Rio de Janeiro, in Brazil, in 2017 was awful, one of the biggest, they say, uh, in the history. So, uh, but, Yes, we have strength, we believe in our goals, and now we, we breathe over the water already, and we think uh, shortly we'll be able to even go outside Brazil.